I'm Galileo. I was born on February 15, 1564, and died on January 8, 1642. In 1609, I made a telescope far better than the original one made by the Dutch eyeglass What was his name? Named Hans Lippershey. His telescope only magnified up to three times, and my best one magnifies up to 20 times. In 1609, I was the first person to look at space through a telescope. I dedicated... What'd you dedicate? I dedicated Jupiter's four largest moons and my book, The Starry Messenger. To who? To to Cosimo II. My last book, Two New Sciences, is my favorite since it has the most important results from my studies. I also published The Dialogue, a book where three friends talk about the Aristotelian and Copernican theories. What are those? The Aristotelian theory is that all planets in the sun revolve around an unmoving Earth. The Copernican theory is where all planets in the Earth revolve around the sun. Oh. In it, I accidentally insulted the Pope and in doing so ensured my trial. You had a trial? Just because you insulted some guy named Pope? On June 22, 1633, they called a trial judged by... Who judged it? Cardinals and Pope Urban VIII. My trial was called on the charge of heresy, even though I'm a devout Catholic. Yeah, no one cares. Anyway, what happened next? They threatened me with torture, imprisonment, and even burning at the stake. Ooh, why? It sounds painful. Because I supported the Copernican theory. What was the verdict? They said I was guilty and I was punished with house arrest for life and a bunch of other stuff. Anyway. You're just some boring old guy who said that the earth went around the sun. Somebody in National Geographic said that Galileo Galilei's greatest invention, in truth, was our own modern world. But the person who invented our modern world is Steve Jobs. Be quiet and listen. I was the first scientist to say that there had to be evidence for an idea before it is true which shaped modern scientists' methods for proving theories. I invented early versions of the pocket calculator and pendulum clock. I also designed the thermoscope and a new form of hydrostatic balance. In more advanced forms, these are all still used today. I am credited with promoting the Copernican theory and recognizing it as the truth. I came up with the law of inertia when I realized that a moving body will stop, keep moving in the same direction unless something stops it. I also directed that objects of different masses fall at the same speed regardless of their mass, which is important to understanding gravity. Great. Can I leave now?